sorry friends few days i am missing from the youtube because i have the something to do uh, in my work so i am so busy and then cannot upload my videos since last week so i am so sorry for this one so welcome to my channel media creation club with the latest updates so in this video i am going to show you how we can add our bank account in the google adsense then uh, how we connect our payment method to receive our payments once we complete the 100 dollars so in this video i am going to show you step by step how we put the bank account details with the swift code and then iban number so all everything you can get in this video if you are new in my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel press the bell icon for the latest updates so let's go to the our topic and continue Okay friends, so now we are in the our channel, as you can see we go in analytics, then we check our payments, we go to the revenue, then this one is showing the last 28 days, then we click the lifetime to check our estimate revenue, so our dollars also complete ready, so we open the google adsense, click the google adsense, then sign in in with our google adsense account so as you can see here the my balance is complete ready last month 275 dollar point 70 cents and then you can see here the your payments are currently on hold action is required to release the payment so uh, we already get email from also Google Adsense I show you the email as you can see this email from the Google Adsense same same thing Google Adsense payment on hold update your information to get paid so once uh, we complete the our $100 so we get email from the Google Adsense to we link our bank account so here we click the action button so you can see here the the december is 275 uh, november is 275 and then october is 143 so like this got then this one is my account name so you click here the aid payment method so we click the aid payment method so here is two payment method so one is new check details if we have the checkbook we receive the payments uh, via checkbook so we click this one if we want the add the new wire transfer details the electronic uh, account so we click that one this one is easy and simple way to directly come into your account so we click this one once we click this one as you can see the beneficiary id you and this one is optional so if you want put beneficiary id you can put the uh, it's depend on your choice if you don't want to put beneficiary id you can just put the name on your bank account so i am putting here the name on bank account then we put the bank name so if you do not don't know the bank name properly you can search the google i am searching here uh, my malaysian bank account name ah, 
this one is the bank account name CIMB Bank Barhad. So we put here the bank name. Okay, friends. So once we put the bank name, if you don't know the SWIFT code, you can visit any branch of the bank and then you can ask the manager there to give you the SWIFT code. If you not able to go bank you can search the google same i am same like i am searching so i just search in the internet i write this one the eight digit one the swift code i can write uh, top one also i can write the down one also so i just copy this one i take from the internet google then paste here now is the account number so we must be careful to uh, put our account details properly so we type our account details then we retype again the our account number we just copy and then paste so we retype already the our account number so this one no need to click anything ffc or anything we just So we must check our, again our details. Is it proper by our bank details or not? Because you cannot mistake in the bank account details after you cannot get the payments. So we, you check your account details properly. Your name, your uh, bank name, then your SWIFT code, and then your IBAN number. So some of the... Um, uh, bank is required the IBAN number the uh, got ABC letters in the starting so I'm not putting here any ABC letters because uh, here Malaysian uh, account it's not providing the IBAN number the uh, digits the first digit so we can use the directly the 14 digit this code directly account number to receive our payments so normally Malaysian account is like this so I just put the normally like that and then I save click the save so I already put my account details here as you can see so I just refresh the my browser So you can see already here the now our action button is already gone. So our account details already completed. So we check our email. I already get email from the Google Adsense. So uh, as you can see the Google Adsense primary payment method has been changed. So our account already accepted from the Google Adsense. Hope this video is going to helpful for you. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up. Please subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon for the latest updates. If you have any question, comment below. I will reply very fast as soon as I am possible to reply your comments. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video with the new updates. Thank you.